wet. It's very wet. I love watching it though. It's quite very dramatic, especially like when it's all hitting the water, the little droplets. But should have left our water tank open. Could have filled it up. This is flash flooding weather. We might have to put the post in tonight. Yeah, but if it carries on like this for much longer, this could be flash flood. This is the worst I've ever seen. It's terrible. This side is even worse. Yeah, exactly. It is worse on this side. The lakes are emerging. Oh, it's been raining so heavy today. I've been sat here and I can just hear this like noise and I was thought god is it still raining that hard looked out the window and it's raining but not that hard and I was like oh, we just filled up with water I was like no I've been outside I've put all that way it's not filling up water I thought well then maybe it's the flow like is it coming really fast should I check see if we're flooded and then I looked out the window and realized that a waterfall had been created or emerged out of the flooded field and is pouring into the river next to us. Right. What's the plan? I don't know what the plan is. Should we just leave? We're just abandoned <laughs> ship. We should check the ropes, we should probably repeg, uh, repeg in a flood. Because the back pegs aren't very strong are they? And then should we really put our posts in? I mean we're nowhere near yet but it has been the worst rain we've seen ever it could over the next 24 to 48 hours it's obviously going to go up let's put at least one pole in the back at the back yeah but not touching the boat we don't want to look too keen today is saturday and we've got no plans at all except we're going for lunch it's good to leave the boat from time to time especially while it's about to flood water level is really high today very high so if there is a couple of day delay in water level rising after the rain, it's possible it might flood. Zenda looks like uh, it's sinking. It's sad, isn't it? You... Oh, poor Zenda. Zenda needs a service. If anyone would like to buy Zenda, we're open to offer. <laughs> this is not the time to, <laughs> to try and sell it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> this is not the time. It floats. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with it. Just about. It's just full of rain at the moment and a bit dirty. If you're interested. Name your price. We are open to negotiation. The river's on highest. It's We've seen it here. The weather forecast says there's not going to be any rain for the next week at least. So we just need to see the aftermath of the rain, which probably gives us another couple of days. I don't want it to flood. I'm looking for any chance to drive. So we made it to Hobbs, a big health food store with a quality cafe. No, I don't want any, thank you. Shall we start on me medium? Yeah, I'll try a medium. Oh, well, I think it'll be really not to. It's actually sweet, the, you know, it's not, it's sweet but not sticky. Living the dream. It finally stopped raining yesterday. I think yesterday was the last rain. However, the river is now uh, rising. Still no sun, a really gloomy day today, um, but we're due for the spring clean. So I'm gonna start. Normally spring clean is when uh, the sun is shining and you've got this energy to clean everything. So it's a bit different today, but I'm gonna start. I'm so done with winter clothes. It's still, there's still going to be another month of cold-ish weather for me anyway, but I'm just going to get rid of all the winter stuff because, or most of it, because I'm so sick of it. it takes up all the room in all the drawers, it's just so bulky. Yeah, I feel like I need a clear out, so everything's going under the bed. 
Once a week I make soy kefir and divide it into a few small jars to use in smoothies. What's for dinner? Having a roast. What we're having, we're having a Lynn McCartney chicken roast, is it? And we're gonna do a leek and spinach take on cauliflower cheese. Just no cauliflower, just cheese. I'm so excited for this. Sprouts on my plate. Just gonna wait a bit longer. Oh, that one's a bit wonky. Then set before shit in one day. This field is soaked. At the other end of it, the river broke its bank, but only just. It looks better than it is. In some areas, the water is ankle deep. We have a new gorgeous neighbor, the otter. He's very rare to spot. We've only seen him once before and hence why he was assigned as Alba's spirit animal on our very first YouTube live. Welcome to the neighborhood, Mr. Otter. Funny, he hisses like a swan. What have you done? Put candle wax in there. This is sacrilege. If the queen was still alive, I'd get deported for eating this. But I'm gonna try Vegemite. I've never tried it before. I love Marmite. Love Marmite, especially Marmite truffle. But I'm gonna try Vegemite. I think I've got too much here. I can say from the outset, unfortunately Vegemite has E numbers in, and Marmite doesn't. But I'm just gonna judge this on taste alone. Am I loving it, or am I gonna throw it out the window? It doesn't spread as well as Marmite. It's all right. Tastes like a fake Marmite. I won't be buying it again. This is the one you want. Marmite truffle, the poshest Marmite yet. One will either love it or find it really rather loathsome. The water is at its highest today. The delay of a few days means that the flooding sometimes happens with a joyful backdrop of blue skies. Running is out of the question at the moment. I'd rather wait until the field is dried up, so today practice is indoors.
So it's been four days since the torrential rain and the river's been very high. And today's the first day I can see that the water starts coming down. It's very tiny. It's probably like an inch below where it was yesterday, but it's going in the right direction. Pretty much the only thing Albert doesn't have that we would like is a hatch. It's not a problem though, as we kind of made one ourselves. Insert the glass, close the top, and we instantly get a huge new hatch to look through. It's going back to dark and gloomy, so I decided I'm gonna have some pancakes. As expected, the first pancake turned into a bowl. So I've changed my strategy and decided to make mini pancakes instead. Thank you all so much for watching. A big thank you to our amazing patrons for supporting this video. If you've been watching for some time, consider joining our patron family, just in time for the next meetup. Also, check out our organic shop at cruisingalba.com if you haven't already. Sending you all our love. See you in the next one.